What's up guys? My name is Chaotic. Back at you guys with a little one today. Coming at you guys with a little something different. I thought I'd throw in uh, another tier list video. And this tier list is gonna be something something interesting. Something I think people click on this video for. And it's gonna I'm gonna be ranking the best and worst RCs I've done. Now there is 20, as you can see, there's a lot of compounds right here. So I mean not compounds, there's substances. So these substances, there's 20 of them, right? I've done at least 20 uh, that I can name out of my, you know, brain right now. <laughs> because um, I do have some other ones, but I, like, like the other RCs I've done are the benzos. But I was going to save that for another tier list, like ranking the best RC benzos. So let me down in the comments if you guys like me ranking stuff. And yeah, which ones are the best, man? So let me get started. <clears throat> so I think I should get started on something I've talked about before. And that will be, I'm going to do 3HO PCB, the other video I made recently. Now this, this chemical right here, man. Look at this stuff. Now, it usually actually does look like this, this brownish, this, um, this is crazy brownish uh, color. Now. If I were to like rank it between S A B C D and E F, I would rank this. I'll put a fucking A tier, man. Not S tier because it's not perfect, but you know, A tier assures that you know it's 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 perfect enough, you know, and that's what's important. Now, let's get into okay. So we got the 3HO out the way. Let's get into Moxie. Now, if you, if, you're, if everyone's ever heard of Moxie, um, it's 5 MU MIPT. It's 5 methoxy. Uh, I forgot what the MIPT means. Methylene something. Anyways, it's a very potent chemical. It's known as SNRI, NDRI. Uh, it has a weird effects similar to like a uh, reuptake inhibitor so it can be dangerous to combine with serotonin serotid, serotid, like serotonin drugs sorry it's hard to say serot serotonin serotoninergic i think serotoninergic i don't know it's a really weird word to say so anyways 5 mu is an s tier for me because okay look I really, really miss 5-MeO-MIPT, man. This stuff is the best, okay? Hands down, this stuff is the best antactogen I've done besides MDMA. Like, but and the difference with this one is that it has, it has an MDMA feeling, but it doesn't have that, um, like, you know, it has more visuals with MDMA antactogenic kind of, like, feeling. It feels just like, yeah, opening mind opening it's crazy man anyways fire me over t and my pt is my favorite man it's my go-to if i if i if there's a party i only try this shit once only once my friend because i didn't i mean it's really rare i think to get this chemical it's not really you know it's it's not like just like all these other ones it's pretty rare you know it's pretty rare just keep that in mind, man. All right, so I'm gonna move on. Let's do fucking three FL PCP. Now, this stuff is just crazy. I mean, it feels a lot similar to other like you know dissociative. It feels real similar to other dissociative like PCPs and PCP analogs feels real similar to all of that so because it feels similar to all of that you know it's fun it feels euphoric it feels nice and it feels nice it's also known as 3f pcp 3 fl pcb and uh, whatever you guys want to call it man but anyway so i'm gonna put this drug a ranking of i'm gonna put let's see b b b b i think it should deserve a b because of the way it doesn't, um, it's not too strong. I feel like it could be stronger. It could be better. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a more of a, uh, feels like a more of a, a slower high. feels more really just 
eh, you know. So it's it's all right. It, it's definitely worth a try, man. Definitely worth a go to. Definitely. Now, I think I believe this is three CL PCP right here, and this three CL PCP. I'm gonna rank it. I would say, yeah, I'm gonna put this C because it's a hit or miss chemical. It didn't really get me too high when I did it. Um, it requires a lot more dosage to get high from this chemical, and it's just not the best thing, man. You know, it's just, I mean, there's a lot of better drugs that can, you know, not, I mean, you could, because, like, for me, I don't really like to take a chemical that lasts, I mean, like, makes you want to take more, you know, what's the point of that? It's not fun, man. So, 3CL PCP, right below 3FL PCP, and right above, th and then, uh, yeah, 3HL PCP is above all of them, of course. Yeah, all these chemicals are really interesting, man. They're fun. They're awesome and they're lit to do, man. You know, when you have, you know, don't have anything to do. Now, let's see here. Let's get some DCK up in this place. Now, DCK is a very fun drug, man. It, it feels a lot like ketamine, man. Long lasting version of it. A tier. Definitely A tier. That's an A tier, man. Because. It at long it lasts as almost as long as 3HO PCB, or it's almost as potent as 3HO PCB. Now 3HO PCP, you know, just take a lot because both of them don't take a lot to actually feel the effects unless you have a certain tolerance. Because some people have different tolerances than others, so you have to take that in mind. Now, looking at all of this, man. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, so it makes all sense where all this stuff is, right? Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys disagree with this tier list so far. All right, so. All right. I think this chemical, what was this chemical? Oh, this is 3ML PCB. Okay, 3ML PCP. Hmm. Uh, it's like a hit or miss, too. I'll put it like a C. Nah, I'll put like a B. It's a little more euphoric. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll put 3 ml PCP as a B. And, uh, the reason for that is because 3 ml PCP is a really nice one. Really nice drug. Um, it... The thing is about it... The thing about it is... Man, I'm high as shit. I know that... I mean, when you take enough of it, I mean, you still don't really feel high from it. At least when I did it... I didn't really get the high from it. Like, I thought it was supposed to be, like, it just re leaves you too energetic and manic. And I do not want any of that because I like to feel high off of this. Ozzy. So, I mean, it leaves you feel higher and more funny, manic, but it can leave you feeling really weird. So, in that regard, I don't know, I'm not, I don't really fuck with that, you know? It's not too fun because, you know, you could do better than that, man. I mean, like, I've tried to a bit stronger than the the batch I tried. Maybe I, maybe I just got a bad batch, but it wasn't really the best batch. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's that. I'll put that in B. Now, is there any more dissociates up in here? Hmm. I think there is. I don't know. Well, let's do some 5-MAPB. Now, 5-MAPB is an attactogenic, similar to MDMA. It, it um, it's a little less, it's not as toxic as MDMA because it has a neurotoxic. It doesn't have the same neurotoxic metabolites as MDMA. So 5-MAPB is actually a lot stronger for you. I mean, no, not stronger for you. It's a low, it might be healthier for you, but it's RC, so who knows how healthy it is. So it's all up to you if you want to use this chemical. But now, this chemical is actually a lot safer, though. It will definitely leave you feeling less depressed, but it's actually a lot harder on the serotonin. So, you could still feel pretty drained off the substance. So, now, this substance is just not... I mean, yeah. Just, you know, three-month rule. Take the same heart reduction you take with MDMA with this substance, please. And you'll have a good time, man. Now, because it doesn't have a neurotoxic metabolite, I'm going to put this in B. 
It's not replacing MDMA. It's not going to go to ST because it's not placing MDMA. So I know that it's just going to go to B. This is the best place for it to go, man. Honestly. All right. So let's see right here, man. I got a whole bunch of other substances here. And I don't know. Okay. So since we did, uh, what was it? 4FA? No, no, no. What was this? This is 5MAPB. All right, yeah, so we're going on tactogenics right now. Now, the RC and tactogenics are all really interesting. I've done 4-fluoroethyl ethamphetamine. And 4-fluoroethamphetamine is exactly like MDEA, meth methylene D D ethamphetamine. So I don't know. It's a lot similar to that MDE, MDA analog. And it's a 4FA analog. So it's ethylated analog of 4FA. That's all it is. So this chemical is actually really serotogenic. It's really strong, man. And I'm going to have to put this one A tier, man. Because, okay, A tier, yeah. It, it's just as strong as the, the one I previously mentioned, 5-MAPB. Uh, these are very similar. They're very high on your serotonin. So keep that in mind when you're doing these RCs, if you're doing them at all. Now, for ACO and E, oh wait, hold up, that's not an tactogenic. Let's finish the tactogenic. So for FMA, for FMA, I did this mixed in with a pill. They called it Turbo Molly, and I realized it was a stimulant, but it's also tactogenic. But it was the most euphoric I've ever felt. It was the most euphoric ecstasy pill I've ever taken in my life. It was a Lego Duplo pill, pill, right? Lego Duplo, right? It was a really weird press. I've never seen anything like. It. And you can look at it. I'm sure you can find those pills somewhere. But this pill, man, it made me roll my tits off. Like, I literally rolled harder than Molly. And I think it was mixed with 4 F Like, I think it was advertised as 4 FA plus 4 FMA. I thought they were, like, I don't know. I thought they were indistinguishable, but they must have been mixed in with this pill. Because I remember getting 4 FA by itself. And it did not feel as strong as this pill. So, yeah, I don't have the pill no more. But that shit. Just made me roll like a motherfucker. So I, I think it was cut with 4 FMA, but I had a good time nonetheless. So, um, because it's not, it's more stimulant than psychedelic. I would put it as C. I don't really have any like experience with it, but you know, it could, you know, it could be funner, I guess, you know. But, anyways, I got some 4 FA sum rub in this bitch. Oh, yeah, right here. So four, oh no, this Al Eskin. Huh. Hold up. I think this is a four of a. Yeah. Alright, so four of a, man. Yeah, this shit, yeah. It looks exactly like four of a. So four of a is going to be an A. Because I really like four of a, man. That's just fun. It, it's it's replaced for MDMA. It doesn't have the same neurotoxic metabolites. It's a lot better than these intactogenics right here. And yeah, man. So you'd be having a good time with those. That's for sure. And uh, yeah, man. Now, moving on to some psychedelics and some stimulants. RCs. So RC stimulants, RC psychedelics, and, you know, the RC dissos, man. So I'm just rating, you know, the best, worst RC disso stimulants and psychedelics. Okay. Now. This chemical right here, 4-H-O-M-E-T. Now, this chemical is nice. I'm going to do another video about this, my, about my experience with this chemical because I have a really nice experience with this chemical. To me, it has the most beautiful visuals ever. It is a more euphoric version of shrooms, basically. It, you know, it's so similar to shrooms with the way it feels. It feels synthetic, obviously, but it feels more similar to shrooms than, and than any other psychedelic. A, it, it must be, it's very similar to psilocin, very similar, and it's just crazy. So it's 4-hydroxymethylethyltryptamine, and this is lit, man. If you ever get this, if you get hands on this, you're in for a good, like, colorful psychedelic trip. It has the most intense, colorful trip visuals, and it's not hard on your body at all. It's really nice. I really loved it, and I would put this as an A. 4 H O M E T is a definite A, man. Definitely. 
Okay. So, let's see right here. For ACO EBT. Now, this one was a strange one. This RC, it was a strange one, man. It was just, like, really interesting how it made me feel. I guess it was more, it, it, it kind of, it was more trippy than, um, I guess, like, make you feel comfortable. So, it felt a lot similar to, what, 4HO, 4HO DET or 4HO MET feels like. So it's a really similar compound. So honestly, it was hard to distinguish the effects. So honestly, it just all it did was make me trip. That's all it did. And I would just put it as a B, man, because as a B, you know, you get what you please, man. That, you know, that's a good rank for that because it's just as strong as the other ones, you know. Now, let's see right here. For ACO DET, man. For ACO DET, this stuff is nice. I'm gonna put it right up where for ACO MET is, uh, because the effects are almost indistinguishable. The effects really are almost indistinguishable, and yeah, that's all you gotta know about that chemical. Honestly, it's not much to say about it other than that it causes almost the same exact visuals. It's not as intense as MET as for ACO MET, but it's very similar, man. It's like the sister of it, so. Yeah, man. It's all for that one. And, alright. DPT, man. DPT. Now, this is dipropyl tryptamine. Very similar to DMT and 5-MeO-DMT. Uh, this stuff is a lot more um, stony than DMT. It's a lot more weird feeling. I feel like it's... It, uh, the dosage. I think the dosage is higher. I'm not sure, but... Um, I think I still have some on me, but I never really fucked with it too much. But I got enough of a dose... It just feels like a different version of DMT. It's kind of a weird... It's like a different, heavier feeling DMT. Makes your head, it makes your head feel real heavy. Really interesting chemical, man. So, I'm going to have to put it... I guess as a C, because I never really had a mind-blowing experience off of it. But I know you can. And some people say it's a lot scarier. Who knows? But I don't really want to try that out. <laughs> so, here's an interesting one. Allyl escalant. Very similar to mescaline. So this is a mescaline analog. And I did another mescaline analog called 3CP, but I couldn't find a picture of it. But wherever I rank this Allyl, allyl escalant is where I would rank 3CP because they're both very similar in effects. So this thing lasts 12 to 16 hours just like mescaline would. So it's a very long acting analog. Now, Allyl escalant had very good times with it. I'm going to put it as a B. Because I love my phenethylamines. So, yeah, man. Because I got others right there and shit. <laughs> Anyways. So, now let's get to a um, RC. Or, I don't know if it's an RC, but it's an analog. I don't know if it's RC. I think it is RC. It's sold as RC. Uh, ALOD 52. Now, this can actually feel a lot like acid. So, because of that, I'm going to give it an A. It actually felt really nice. Felt really nice. Or actually, I'm going to put it as a B because it doesn't hit the spot like acid. But it feels almost as, almost as nice. Almost as nice. Now, 3 FPM. Which I actually tried today. Um, this chemical, it's interesting. Pretty interesting. Uh, it gives like the same little boost. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not like an amphetamine, so. Yeah. It's not going to gain the same boot. It's like a fenmetrazine analog. So anyways, 3FPM. Hmm. I'm going to have to put it as a C, man. C. Because uh, I haven't really experienced much with that chemical yet. You know, have yet to do that. 4FMPH. Uh, 4 4-fluoral methylphenidate. This stuff. This stuff is interesting. Now, 4-fluoral methylphenidate. Um... Uh, I'll put right three three FPM. I guess C. And yeah, man, because it feels a lot like three FPM. For uh, it's a lot cleaner. And honestly, actually, I'm gonna put it as a D because this is more of like a functional analog. Like it's like a functional stimulant. It doesn't get you high. It doesn't do anything other than make you study. So it's kind of boring. I'm gonna be honest. 
I'm breaking it out of like how high it gets you and shit. And then we got isopropyl phenidate, another Ritalin analog, just like floral, floor, floral methyl phenidate. And this one, I'll put, I'll put this in C because it has same similar, it has stronger effects than four floral methyl phenidate. This is too medicinal because it's too strong. Uh, it's a lot stronger on your brain the four floral methyl phenidate, but isopropyl phenidate, three FPM are a little more lenient. So I feel like they actually make you a little more studyful. Um, and yeah, you'll be good off all of that. So yeah, man. So we got five MEOB, MIPT at the S tier. That's my all time favorite RC I've ever done. Uh, we got fucking free HO PCP up in the A tier. We got some fucking deschloroketamine. We got that, uh, fucking four FA up in there. Four HOMET. Four ACODET. And, uh, yeah, man. Y'all know the rest. Pretty much. That's it, man. That's my stuff. That's my RC's ranked from best to worst, you know, in the tier list. And uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys would like another video like this uh, soon. And I'm, I'm about to make another one about RC Benzos and rank that from best to worst. So, yeah, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys stay high, stay lifted. Peace.